Uh, this is a video of two interesting Smith & Wessons I picked up. A local gun shop got a collection of 10 in, and uh, I went out to the range because I really wanted to shoot this one, and it was so windy you couldn't hear anything I was saying. But this is an older Smith & Wesson 41, and it's got the short 5-inch barrel, which uh, some collectors refer to as a field or sport barrel. So uh, this is the one I shot. The first time I shot it, the, uh, the original magazine after the first shot the slide locked open this happened uh, a couple times but this gun probably hasn't been fired in years so after I put about two or three more magazines through it it was running like a top and uh, I've never owned a 41 before and now I have two the second one I bought is kind of interesting it's got a five and a half inch heavy barrel but you see these holes in top, they're actually screws. This has got the extended front sight where as you loosen the screws and the sight slides forward, it give you a longer sight radius. And even uh, on the box and label, it's marked EFS for extended front sight, which is kind of neat. And this, this gun right here is relatively new in the box and both of these being older guns they have a, a little pin in the back that uh, protrudes to let you know that the hammer is cocked and the, these older guns are just just beautifully beautifully built but the thing I like about this one with the field barrel the rest of them are, are muzzle heavy with a field barrel, it just sits so much better in your hand. It just, uh, it's interesting too, Smith & Wesson, when I was researching this, they would cut down their uh, seven and a half inch barrels if they had a problem with a crown, and that wanting to waste a barrel, they'd cut it down to five inch and sell it as a short barrel or field or sport barrel. But uh, these are fantastic pistols from uh, the uh, late 60s and the, the quality is just so much better than what they're making now and I just wanted to preface this because when you see we roll into the shooting video it's very windy and I already apologize for that but uh, I wanted to get this out to the range and uh, shoot them so I can share them with you. This is my new Smith & Wesson 41. In all my years of shooting and collecting I've never uh, bought a 41. My local gun shop happened to have a collection of 10 of these. And most of them had the long barrel, like the 7, 7 and a half, and some of them had the uh, compensator. And the other one, five, inch, five and a half inch solid barrel. What I like about this one, it's got the five inch short barrel, like it's normally called the field and sport barrel. Uh, how these came about, when Smith & Wesson was machining the long barrel, to speed up the ground and muzzle somehow. Throw the barrel out so they cut them down to five, uh, five inches. This one came to the back. The second one is a five and a half inch barrel, it's got the extendable front sight, so these are becoming quite collectible. These are supposed to be finicky with ammo, but form says to uh, use CCI standard. I'm going to shoot two magazines through it and hopefully and first jam. A new 41 magazine with the nylon flower. Let's we'll see if this works. This thing really has a sweet trigger. Oh, 
another thing this has, the early uh, Model 41s had a little pen that protrudes the cocking indicator to let you know that the uh, hammer is cocked. field barrel changes the whole balance of the pistol. You have to really shoot a 41 with a field sport barrel to appreciate it. Uh, the regular ones, very muzzle heavy, but it's a target pistol. First shot to see how it did. It's not terrible for the first shots. collectible now and these old ones like this one was made in the early 60s. They're, they're just beautifully made pistols. Okay, uh, 41. I know these early magazines were fitted. Seems like on the second round uh, slide locks back, but uh, I'm going to shoot it fast now at the uh, center dot. Seems to be functioning better. This thing probably has been shot in about 30, 40 years. Try the new mag through it. Can't believe I've never had a Smith & Wesson model 41. These things are phenomenal. All right, this is the new magazine with the, uh, the nylon follower. Mags seem to be working uh, much better now. Now, when I could do this one-handed, uh, I'll be happy. Two-handed, uh, this, this is close. This is only ten yards. What a phenomenal pistol!